Good morning. Are you going to do pretty smile? Are you going to do pretty smile? You gorgeous, gorgeous girl. Good morning. When I went to bed last night, this was in the little swaddle with you. How did this get out? Who did that? Who did? Did you do that? Did you do that? I think you did. Oh, no, it's okay. It's okay. She's not happy. Are you ready to eat, girlfriend? Yeah, you were born ready. Yeah. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Dex. Long time no see, the last video that I uploaded on here was actually my birth vlog. So a lot has happened since like I've actually sat down and talked to you guys. Um, we have a baby now, so <laughs> obviously. Honestly, just so surreal, like the past three months, she's gonna be three months this upcoming week. It's crazy, she was born on October 19th and yeah, of last year. So. Today's vlog, it is currently Saturday, and it's just kind of going to be like catching up, day at home with us, the four of us, Carl, Kenny, and Dex, and me. Right now, I am actually in the nursery. I started cleaning up last night a little bit, so let me sit down and like let's debrief a bit. So, since Kennedy came home, she's actually been living in our room. Because she's not like using her crib yet, We've kind of just been like, whenever we do laundry for her, like dump it in there. And then now she like, she started in size preemie, then she was a newborn, now she's in zero to three. And like, I'm preparing like by buying things for like the three to six and six to nine jump. Um, but yeah, so last night I started, I pulled out everything from her drawers, all of the size preemie, newborn, I bagged it up. We're gonna put it in storage. Um, and yeah, so I like slowly started to begin to like clean her room. I kind of had never really finished setting things up here because we were originally we were thinking that I was going to have her at 37 weeks and then the doctors were like mm, no we're gonna let you go to 39 and then at my 38 week appointment they were like let's get that baby out so I don't want to say that like I would have finished it before she came because like what I actually have I mean that was the plan but Plans change, clearly. Um, so I never really finished setting it up in here. And obviously when she came home, things were like super crazy. And here we are three months later. And I still feel like things are crazy. <laughs> we're getting into the swing of things though. I feel like we have a routine. We kind of know what we're doing now. Still not really, but more so than we did when we first got home. Currently, I actually have some dough downstairs rising because I'm gonna be making Panera's cinnamon crunch bagels but at home I'm doing it for tiktok um but i will show you guys a little bit behind the scenes of that too so yeah i've never actually showed the nursery let me show you guys like what we're working with here okay no judgment here people like this is actually her little hamper that stuff that like does not like we don't use anymore or like i never did use um like some diapers and like nursing pads and stuff so both my sisters are actually pregnant so i'm boxing this up and giving it to the sister who doesn't have a baby yet because she doesn't have any of that stuff um and yeah here is just here's her little crib that's actually her like bedspread but like i don't even know like are you supposed to put a bed sheet on here like we put a bed sheet on her bassinet i don't know if we put a bed sheet on this though i have no idea um this is like still some stuff i feel like from my baby shower that like i haven't set up yet i'm gonna do that I do think this is like the cutest thing ever though. Um, her little changing table and like her little dresser. But this I actually ordered on Black Friday. I got it 50% off from this Etsy shop. It is so stinking cute and also like toxic trait of mine. I don't check the measurements on anything before I buy it and just hope for the best. So, but it actually worked out. <laughs> like I feel like that's like the perfect size. I just like wanted something that was like pretty but also like not like super baby like um because I want her to be able to use it like when she's older too like keep it in here like as she gets older and if you guys could not tell from the color scheme in here my favorite colors are green gray and white <laughs> let's check on the little princess because she's in our room with Carl right now napping <laughs> we're doing massive cleanups today I can't believe she's napping she never naps during the day 
this is a pile of bows and I know I have a bunch more in the other room. Um, I actually ordered a basket from Amazon because I'm thinking I want to put a little basket of bows over here. I will show you guys when we go downstairs, but right now we have like a setup downstairs for like changing her diapers. It's like a, it's like a pack and play, but it's got a changing table and a bassinet on top right now. Um, and that was like fantastic when we first got her home and she was super tiny, but now she's doubled in size from when we took her home. So she's like outgrown the little changing table. It's just kind of like a little changing like plank and I'm afraid she's going to like roll off it one day. So what I'm doing is, is we have this thing downstairs. It's called a charging station. That's just kind of like what the builders of the house called it. Um, so what my original plan was, was to make that into a changing table. Um, because like, it's like, it's like granite. I'll show you guys when we get down there. But I basically had to buy, I basically bought like another one of these and I'm going to like strap it to that. And then I bought some other baskets too, like a little like, um, changing table caddy. So I'm going to put that down there too and like pack it with stuff. Um, and then probably keep some outfits down there too. Uh, and yeah, so I hope all of that stuff arrives today because I wanted to get that done today. Here are the clothes that she doesn't fit in anymore. Some stuff still has tags on it, unfortunately. And literally, the saddest thing is, is my both of my sisters are pregnant right now. One of them, we know she's having a boy. And the other one, I suspect it's a boy. So all of this is going into storage. <laughs> Hopefully someday when I have more children, if we have more children, hopefully we have a girl so that we can reuse all of this. We have a Stanley today with half yellow Gatorade, half water because I need to hydrate more. I've been really dehydrated lately. Okay. And we also do not have like containers yet. <laughs> to put this stuff in. So we're keeping it classy and we're putting it in storage in trash bags. Well, realistically, Carl will probably go to the store this week and get containers and then we'll just like dump them in the containers. Also, this stuff was all folded. I was trying to be neat and then there was just so many clothes. I was just like, mm, you know what? I'm just gonna throw them in the bags. I mean, they're clean. So that is that. I just heard the air fryer go off, so y'all know something from Trader Joe's is about to go down. <laughs> Ooh, the temperature down here is like so much higher. Why is it warmer down here? This is actually the little charging station that I was telling you guys about, but we'll talk about that later. In the meantime, is there somebody here by the name of Dexter Queso? Is there someone, is there someone here named Dexter Queso? Are you him? Are you Dexter Queso? This is actually going to be my first meal of the day, minus like my protein iced coffee. Um, why is there a timer on? Oh, my bagels. I don't even know what time of day it is because I don't keep a time on my microwave. Anyways, um, I've got some spring rolls from Trader Joe's. I think it's like two o'clock. I don't even know what time it is now. I lose track of time, honestly. I like to get the chicken spring rolls from Trader Joe's and I like to dip it with chili sauce. So the one from Trader Joe's is good too, but this is just the one that I have open right now. I do have the one from Trader Joe's, but again, this this big gal is open. So we're gonna use her. Woo! She's gorgeous. Let's go back upstairs. <gasps> Look who is awake from her nap. <gasps> I've been waiting for you to wake up, you gorgeous girl. Ooh, stress. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey girly. Hey girly. <gasps> My gorgeous, gorgeous assistant is up from her nap. Yeah, mama. Oh, he fixing that bed head. Oh my goodness. You are so pretty. You being gorgeous, gorgeous girl. Yeah, you good to hiccups. That's okay. She loves this thing. We just started sitting in it yesterday. Yeah. Okay, watch me be an extra mom. I have this cookie that I need to bite top off. And she gives me some look. Look how cute that was. <laughs> you are so cute. You, yeah, you. All right, mommy's gonna clean. Enough fun with the Starbucks stuff. All right, we're gonna do some dummy time. Oh, 
Auntie Keese is on the phone too, but we dropped her. <laughs> all right, girlfriend. You ready for this? Woo! All right, ready. <gasps> and we're gonna go flip, 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 flip. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow. Turning it. You're so strong. <laughs> Ready? We go up. Ready? Three, two, one. Up, 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 up. <gasps> Yay! Oh my gosh, you're looking right at me. Hi, honey. Oh my goodness, look at you go. Kenny is very upset. So Carl is going downstairs to feed her. Meanwhile, I need to go and film that video of me doing the cinnamon crunch bagels. So, because the dough's been like done for like a very long time. So I need to get down there and get moving on my bagels. Somebody wants a bottle! Perfect timing. <laughs> oh my goodness. And... End scene. <laughs> Welcome to my kitchen. So, I have my dough... Over here. And it honestly looks perfect. It's been sitting out for a few hours, rising. It rose. Absolutely. It's stunning. She's thick. going on over there basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna form my bagels and then I am going to put them in my boiling water in the back I have like honey and water coming to a boil I'm gonna pop them in there for two minutes each and then they're gonna bake in the oven for like 20 minutes I don't know when I'm gonna do like my sugar topping on top and butter I already have my first batch of bagels in the oven so I'm gonna show you guys how this goes with my second batch so I formed ooh, I formed my bagels and they kind of look like triangular and they kind of look like donuts that's just because I like cut them into like, I kind of cut them the way you cut scones. Like I had my big thing of dough and then I cut it into little triangles. But anyway, we have to boil these first before we bake them. So I have my water boiling, there's honey in there, and there's like existing cinnamon because I already boiled the others. So let's do it. And now they have to cook for one minute on each side, although the ones in the oven by accident, I cooked for two minutes on one side and one on the other, but hopefully they all end up being fine. <laughs> so I took a look at the ones that I already have in the oven and the sugar kind of like fell off of them and I think it's because I cover the tops of them with butter. So I'm going to do these a little bit differently and then we'll see which ones come better. And I think I'm just going to do the egg wash and then a bunch of sugar. Um, and then we'll see what happens because I think it's the butter that kind of ruined the other bagels. Well, not ruined, but like the butter started to like melt off the bagels and it took the sugar with them just from what I can see after a couple minutes. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she keeps doing that. All right, these bagels are going in the oven. <gasps> I've been looking for you. Did you just eat? Yeah. Yeah. Was it good? Yeah. Hey, Dad. Hi. <laughs> the Amazon Dexter, he's eating brown sugar. What? Your yeah, hair. Her hair looks perfect. Because like, she's perfect. It's like she got electrocuted. <laughs> All right, first batch of bagels just came out. Carl, okay, if y'all don't know, Carl's from New Jersey. Look, I know you're a little bit of a bagel snob, but you're gonna have to keep your comments to yourself. People from New Jersey and New York are like next level when it comes to bagels. One time I bought the prepackaged like Thomas bagels and he was just like, oh, like you're gonna eat those? Listen, I'm from Rhode Island. No, they're not bad. There is, the reason why I'm even making bagels is because I've literally been obsessed. I had a craving, no, I'm not pregnant, but I had a craving the other day because my sister was at my favorite bagel shop. It's called Bagels. <laughs> it is so good. And they used to actually have a location on campus at my college. They closed it down, but the main location is still open and it's right by my parents' house, so. But you have to get there really early. I like the salt bagel. It's like just a plain bagel, but it's coated in salt. It is so stinking good. But you have to get there at like 8 a.m. if you want to get a good flavor. Otherwise, they sell out. So that inspired me to do this TikTok. I was like, I want to make bagels. So what'd you think of my bagels? Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good. Pretty messy though. You know, it's going all over the place. Okay, really sad fact about me is that I buy things on Amazon and then I just don't open any of the packages when they come and then just a bunch of things accumulate. I get so mad at me and because I like don't open things. 
but you know, it's, it, then it ends up kind of being like, you know, like one of those Yankee swaps, like you just don't know what you're getting. <gasps> okay, I was so excited about these. These are, and it's size three to six, that works. Okay, these are, so if you guys follow me on Instagram, which if you don't, I post on there every single day. Dexter, it's fine. We love Cloud Island PJs from Target. Unfortunately, they only go up to size nine months and then they like stop, but it's super affordable. It's three, they come in three, like a three pack of PJs and they're, doesn't say it on here, but they're between, they're, all the sets are between 12 and $14, but they had this huge sale and I got a bunch and I posted and I know you guys were loving them too. Another Target box. I got another box of Dr. Brown bottles just because you can never have too many. Oh, and then this. I still, I haven't clipped her nails ever. Her nails, like, well, for the longest time, we've been, like, leaving, like, the cuffs on her PJs closed. But now we've been letting her have her hands. So she's, been, like, nibbling on them. So, like, her nails have kind of, like, started. She's not biting her nails, but her nails are so thin. So when they get wet, they kind of, like, just, like, break off. But I did get this because I feel like we're going to need this in the future. Oh, yes. Okay. If, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I already talked about these. I went online and I looked up specifically passies that like newborns can hold in themselves and this came up and sure enough, I bought a four pack and then Kennedy has been loving them since like every day we've been using the passy. Like when she gets like a little bit like, if she's like a little bit sleep deprived in the afternoon, she kind of will want one. So I bought another four pack of these. I probably should have ordered two more packs of this, but another four pack of those i'm gonna have to clean those asap because she loves her tommy tp passies i don't know if he was in the viewfinder but he's been sitting there watching me as i open up my packages this right here i was telling you guys earlier about how i want to convert the charging station into our new changing table down here so this i actually ordered last night and oh, it's a little diaper table caddy and oh the dividers are right here you can configure them how you want to but it's basically like a little tote so like i can take it upstairs refill it and then bring it back down i'm taking this upstairs let's go fill my little diaper caddy i'm looking for a cute little girl <gasps> hi mama have you been here the whole time I was looking for you, you gorgeous girl. Oh my goodness. Dex is like very interested as to what's happening in here. Um, so yeah, so here's what I did. So this is the cover or um, the changing pad that I got from Amazon. I just like undid it. And so this is like the cover that's like water resistant or waterproof rather. And there's a cozy cover too, but I'm going to put it in the wash. But it doesn't really matter because we put these on the changing pad just because gets messy we use these are actually dexter's pp pads but mom hack put these down thank me later <laughs> here's her little caddy more of the pee pads diapers we got bibs a few extra pairs of pjs for poop lotions um rags a few packs of wipes and then her aquaphor and yeah so that is our new little changing station the whole purpose of doing that is just because we wanted to free up some space here in the living room so in the living room, we have this where it's like, like I said before, it's her pack and play. This was the existing changing table, but like, as you can see, it's super tiny. Um, and I'm nervous that she's going to like flop off at one of these days. And then the little bassinet. But like I said, she doesn't really ever take naps in this anymore. She only did like her first few weeks um, because when we're Dexter, what are you eating? What do you have? He's got a whimsy. Um, when like we're like up and stuff like that, like if anything, if she's not napping on me, she's napping in the docketot or in her little swing over there. So now we'll be able to get rid of this. We'll have some space for a little bit. I kind of want to move her swing away from the window and put it there. Um, and then eventually when it's time for her to have a little play yard, we'll probably like, you know, put a little gate here for her. All right. For dinner. I made one of my favorite Trader Joe's meals that I actually have saved in a highlight on my Instagram, but basically it's just tortellini, the roasted red pepper tomato soup, and the garlic chicken sausages. So that's what we're eating now for dinner. And I think I'm gonna make a package of these in a little bit, and we're gonna watch some TV. How is dinner, Carlos? Excellent. <laughs> Kenny's trying to get my attention. Hi, baby. You gonna say bye? Say bye to the vlog? We're gonna leave it off here? We'll see you guys next week. Dex. <laughs> I will leave all of my socials down below. And I will see you guys in my next vlog. Thanks for watching.
Bye.